Hi guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky. So, we are going off planet here. Uh, we're doing the mission from last time that wanted us to, uh, oh, find the missing pirate, that's what it says. So we're going to do that. Um, also, uh, I, f I have some good news, and we have to go to a different system for this, because I already did it in this system to test it out. But uh, I found out, uh, you know where you can go and, you know, buy the, the research and blueprints and all that kind of stuff in the uh, anomaly slash nexus? Well, there's the, you know, the suit upgrade guy. Beside him, there's an actual tiny suit upgrade machine. It's sort of like the same thing as the space station itself, but uh, just tiny in size. And you can go there and upgrade your slot. So if you spawn that in a new system and then go to the station after, you literally can get yourself uh, two upgrades per system instead of one. So I thought that was really cool, and uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, so you guys can see that, or not, well, you're not seeing it right now, but you know about that. Eventually, we'll probably do that when we start going and exploring into space a bit more. Right now, I've been doing a lot of the base stuff, so I've been pretty boring, I know. Okay, so the pirate's hiding in here. Wait, is he actually legitimately, like... That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, is this the pirate? Oh, okay. Hello, pirate. Gah, foolish interloper, you have ruined months of casework. Noble Vican officer was undercover with pirates had almost traced the fugitive I seek. The cultists of Nal shall not escape our justice. Of this you can be sure. Gah, the life form throws their advanced survival data across the room in anger. They claim to have been undercover trying to trace a faction known as the Cult of Nal. The association between the pirates and the Nal appear to be unclear. However, it does seem wise to question the Vel Viking uh, further. I take the advanced survival blueprint and leave. There's nothing more for me to do. <laughs> Oopsies. I'm sorry. Here's a technology merchant. I don't think these guys usually have too much interesting things here, but let's check it. You can purchase blueprints, which we'd have to have our thing with us. We don't have... Oh, we have nanites. Of course we do. Um, so why can't I purchase this? Oh, already known. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'll just buy those because then they're just done, right? So... Now you have to go... The only downside when you do that, you got to go to your log. you got to unpin this. And there you go. And we're back. Oh, was there... Uh, we, we got the nanite thing, right? That's a weapon thing. I'm not going to touch that. Did we did we pick this up? Yeah, we did. Okay. We're kind of done from here. Okay, so we'll go back to our base. Oh, last night... Uh, it was really late, though. I was, like, sleeping, so... Um, I was sleeping. Well, apparently I wasn't sleeping because it happened, so uh, that's crock of crap. But uh, here, I'll show you in a minute once we get the autopilot up here. Anyways, uh, so I met some people and they screwed up my discovery. It shows black hole here. I've never been here, but I guess I joined a, a game, but I never went to these planets yet. For some reason, it shows it up here. Uh, I did go to this one with somebody. And uh, you can see it's already been discovered by them, but then I discovered one here as a joke, and they're like, ah. But anyways, I, I just wanted to let you know I was somewhere else in the, the galaxy. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, this, this black hole one and this one, I have no clue where they are, why they showed up. I don't even think I can actually teleport there, as in like, I've never actually been there. But for some reason, they're showing up, so I don't know what that's about. I just wanted to let you know. Okay, I feel like... Wait, have we not been moving at all this entire time, or...? Oh, boy. I guess you don't move when you're in escape, many... Oh, I didn't realize that. You can in tab, I think, yeah. I wish there was a way that you can unpause that, but I guess it doesn't happen. Actually, I wonder, because I do have my multiplayer off right now. I wonder what happens if I turn this back on. Okay, because there's no multiplayer going on right now. It won't work. 
but I'm guessing if I was playing with other people, then escape, then it probably would work. So it's just one of those features, unfortunately, that it doesn't happen. It's like, I need somebody to AFK in my games just so I can use that feature. But uh, you probably notice I have the color. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we have the color the color screen mod on here. Basically, I've added some mods here and there. My scanner is a bit cleaner, things like that. If people really want to know more about mods and things like that, I can do some videos on them. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, just I thought the coloring of the screens and stuff looked cooler than just the boring, weird-ass color they had before, so... It's such a colorful game, yet, you know, their their display panel was so not colorful, so I thought I had to do something about it. Okay. Oh, I looked into doing the lights, by the way. And the lights itself, it sounded like I need a room, like special rooms to be built that allow you to use the lights themselves. Like... I guess there's a plug in the room itself. You plug, you know, the power into the room and then the room becomes all electrified and then the lights touch the room and then they become electrified. It seems weird, but that seems to be what I came to a conclusion. Let's turn on this. I haven't done this for a while and this is bad because we're supposed to do this all the time. Uh, no, that's not what we wanted to do. There you go. Base computer online, automated archives, blah, blah, blah. So what percent are we at? 27%. Yeah, this is why we were supposed to do this more. Glance towards the shipwreck, nothing more than a dot. Walking this plane for hours. Mountains seem no closer. I look up to the sky. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Uh, blueprints resembled and prepared. So let's search for the construction. Exosuit technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Personal upgrade module synthesized. Blah, blah, blah. Readable archive retrieval complete. Begin defragmentation of next segment. So now you have to wait again. So I got a scanner module. Ooh, a C, which isn't really that good. Um, I guess we can... Actually, I wonder if I can build a life support thing. Uh, so anyways, uh, I guess we can build the... Or not build. Didn't we get one? Yeah, here we go. So let's install this technology. It's going to be crappy because... Ah, see, it's red. Uh, so you can't have them stack like this. So if you look, the B is better than C, uh, if you didn't know that. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and dismantle this one. But yeah, if you over-upgrade, then you see it do that. So you can only have three of the scanner stack, not uh, four or five or six. Uh, so yeah, that, that makes that kind of easy, doesn't it? Also, my save point beacon showed up again. It disappeared, so I placed this one in it because... Yeah, legitimately it was gone. All of a sudden I was looking for it and I couldn't find it and I just I kind of gave up. I just thought, okay, I guess you don't exist anymore. Let's go ahead and move. Oh, that's annoying because when you do this, it always goes technology, but we don't have slots there right now. There you go. So let's go in here and do our science one. I, I'll just put it on here. That way it's... Because we have to talk to both science and the other guy. So we're going to do that now. So the beacons constructed traveler confirm we shall wait it may take time for the convergence to find me uh, my own research proved fruitless it yielded only blueprints oh no blueprints atomic mining unit okay so this is the old mining method I forgot this even existed I actually like this way of mining so uh, we we'll, won't build this today because I need uranium things like that but uh, definitely worth uh, getting that done later on so yeah, even I forgot that existed. I mean, I like the new system, but it hasn't worked for us, as you guys know. So I don't really like it. <laughs> I have transmitted craft intelligence to the beacon so they might live and connect, and the Corvex do, but I cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so I might teach it. Okay. Uh, seems desperate, but seems to have a genuine made it happier. At least blah, blah, blah. He asked me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence. So we'll say, okay. So we have to go and scan creatures, probably new creature data. So that kind of whatever. So how many creatures do you have to do? Scan planetary creatures. Doesn't really say how many. So, okay. Weapon research. Uh, let's go back to the war armor guy. So he's the armor, even though, like, he's all weapons. I mean, I know the two are mixed, but it's always weird sounding. It's done, then. Have you made them suffer? The armor begins to cough. They do not appear, appear to be in good health. Uh, confirm. I shall decrypt their data, interloper. 
may it bring you glory, but I have another task for you. It's almost the end. So there you go. Advanced ion battery. Actually, didn't the other recipe we just get needed an advanced ion battery? I think it did. So that kind of like was a win-win. Okay. Oxygen capsule. Okay, there is a structure on this world, a depot of little consequences, but to the sentinels, yeah, they will defend it to their last drone, attack it, draw the fire of the sentinels, then our hunt can begin. While you are away, I shall create a powerful upgrade so that your weapon uh, is fit for a great war. Uh, the captain appears to have declined even further. This longing for the hunt seems to be the only thing keeping, it al keeping them alive. The Valkyne, Valk, uh, Viking, I guess it's Viking, I don't know, I call him Viking, asks that I destroy the depot so that the Sentinels will seek us out. They promise to work on some sort of weapon upgrade while I'm away. Uh, go, I will prepare your weapon. Interloper, you can relay on my work. Okay, so that's good. And then this guy, I think we already have a mission for him, but... Uh, uh, gather some solanium. Yeah, so we had to do that with them. So I've been doing these a lot. I think next episode I'm going to have to, like, jump into, like, primary missions. I've not talked talk to or done primary missions in ages. I mean, this one I can't do. This one, purchase technology and blueprints, new base parts aboard the Anomaly Undertake, missions with other travelers, blah, blah, blah. So this, seem, uh, this seems to be more like just ignore, basically keep doing that. And this one's fine an Atlas uh, interface, so. Let's go and do this one now. Okay. By the way, we could. I wonder how hard that is. I, I did get the structures for some stuff, didn't I? Um, I don't even know what it'd be under. Tech? General? Ah, here, landing pad. I was wondering where this would be. I wonder if it's time to build like a big ass landing pad right here just for fun. I need ion battery and microprocessor. Let's see. So, ion battery. Uh, and that's the advanced ion battery. I just need ion battery. And the microprocessor, which we have what we need. We need carbon nanotube, so. Um. Wait, what did I just? I'm so confused. What did I just do? Did I actually craft that, or oh, I quick oh I quick transferred from somewhere else. Oh, I did not realize I could actually do that the opposite way. To be honest, I don't think I've ever tried that before. Okay, that's cool. Um, what were we making again? We were making... Um, yeah, we were crafting. Okay, so how do I craft again? Craft product is left click. Sorry, I know that's weird, but it's just like it threw me off all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, what's going on here? Okay, so we should be able to... Oh, metal plating. We need 10 of those. I have used so much metal plating lately because I was testing all this crap. I probably can't even make 10 of them. And I'm out. I actually do not have enough ferrite dust, if you can believe that. Uh, it's because I made so many of these depots, testing all this buggy stuff, that uh, I used up all of them. Uh, I got some in here, so I need uh, more. But what you can do is you have to kind of convert it downwards. So you have magnetized. No, I, I need the second one from that. Where is that? Ferrite dust. And I need the other one with that in there. So I see this one here, but I don't want that one. I want the other one. Um, there you go, pure ferrite. So what you can do is you can take pure ferrite, I believe, and you can kind of like back it through here. So you put the pure one in here, and I think it'll turn it back into... Oh, no, that turns into magnetized. Oh, darn it. I know there's a way to do it the opposite way. I just don't know how to do it. So what happens if I put the, this one in here? It turns it into the... Well, that's that's kind of what I wanted, uh, but I want it the opposite way. Uh, what happens if I do it from, like, here instead? So... It just does the same ingredient, right? Yeah. 
What happens if I do... Hmm. Yeah. I don't know the ingredient for that, so let me get some iron and we'll be back. Okay, we are back, so we can go ahead and uh, craft these up here. And then we should have... Oops, wrong thing. Oh, I guess we should charge that up anyways. Then we'll go and build ourselves this. So, probably won't snap it on anything. I'll probably just build it, like, kind of like here. You know, just sort of work with the area. There you go. And there you go. So we'll have a landing pad now that we can go to and it'll connect better too when we're coming down and then we also don't have to pay for landing, right? So um, it's kind of a win-win situation. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and we're going to go do that mission here. The Sentinels. So am I on the right thing? I don't know. Weapon research. Apparently I am. Oh yeah, there it is. Depot. Okay, we'll be there in a sec. And here we go, incoming. We always like going to the original planet we started on, huh? <laughs> now I wonder if we had all these missions on this planet, like if we lived and built on this planet, would we get them all on here as well? I, I guess you would probably. I guess it's probably more related to your first place. Oh god, okay. I'm already seeing how this is going to go, so I guess we're going to have to destroy these. Hopefully this is not broken. Back in the day, this was very broken. As in, you couldn't use your ship to do this. There you go. We're done. Oh, and we got uh, materials out of that? That's kind of cool. And then, yeah. We can't go into space, because if we go to space, uh, we get sentinel ships on you. So what you have to do is you basically fly around the planet till you lo you lose your countdown. So it's not really hard to be honest. There you go. And home sweet home we go. Okay, so we get to try out our new uh, landing pad, which is fun. So, is it already changing color? Or No, there it goes. Now you know it changes color. So it goes from a blue to a green, so sometimes it's harder to see it. But and There you go. Now it won't cost us anything to take off, and kind of fits really well there. Okay, so let's go ahead and hand in our mission for him. Well, I have to do the creatures thing for the other guy, though, too. We'll get there eventually. I'm more interested in this guy's issues lately. I've detected them. Their eyes upon us. You have done it, haven't you? Your actions have summoned them confirm. I am sorry, interloper. I will not be able to assist you in your fight. I am too weak. Take this upgrade module to prepare for their arrival. Uh, geology cannon, large boring tunnel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, for rapid ground excavation. But that tool we have does that already. Okay. So let's see what this guy is up to here. They approach, but before the final fight, I have another task for you. You need to be strong to serve you. There is a substance, an offering free given by uh, young to their elders. They may yet restore me. I... Uh, I myself spent years enmeshed within the harvest circuits of or uh, organs, sacrificing the enzymes for the fleet. I'm glad to do so, but we need to not repeat such torment today. The enzymes, I can't say it, remnants found on the Vakin dagger should be enough to heal for now. What sacrifice Captain uh, has made for others, they do not appear to have reaped the same benefit uh, in their old age. Uh, the Viking body is scarred, their speech is labored, I cannot imagine they will survive another year. Their armor requires the 
Viking daggers to prevent their further decline, except the request. Okay, they say nothing, but there's a look of hope behind their eyes. Okay, so... Yeah, we did that. Um... Okay, so it's like trader outposts, find them on planetary containers, etc. That's kind of cool. And then this scientific one wants me to scan some discoveries, which we will do over time. And this one wants me to find that on Scorched Worlds, which I don't think we have a Scorched World on here, do we? Because it would kind of say, wouldn't it, somewhere? Um, and then, yeah, so I think we're pretty much getting ready so we can go somewhere uh, for our next thing. And... Install the empty inventory or technology slot. Oh, okay. We're supposed to do something, and I forget what it was, to be honest. They really want us to do this badly, though, so... Install technology. I just don't know what the technology was, honestly. Are you going to tell me? Probably not. Uh, install... Oh, teleport receiver. Oh, okay. This is actually kind of useful anyways, I guess, so... Unless you teleport things to your thing quite far, so... Um, install technology. We're going to do the teleport receiver. There it is. And we need a wire loom and antimatter. Okay, so the antimatter is really easy. So we'll go up here. And there you go. So that gets that one part done. And then we need the wiring thing, which I think I have some in here. I'm not sure if it's up or down, though. Because uh, I got a bunch before because I thought, oh, I needed it all the time. So I just, yeah, put a bunch of my inventory and just have it kind of there ready to go. Um, stop being a pain. There shouldn't be more. Oh, Starship out of range. I'm like, what's going on here? Uh, okay, so there you go. Now you'll probably stop blinking. There we go. Okay, so now you have to wait the hour and a half. See, that's good you did that, because you would have been more of a pain later on, honestly. So, we'll put that away, and yeah. Okay. So, we got that done, and this is Scorch Planets, which I don't think we have a Scorch Planet here. I should go and check, just in case, but I feel like that's uh, like probably a different system altogether, so... Honestly, I haven't discovered all the planets yet, so... Okay, so... This looks scorchy. Probably not. Uh, incandescent. Oh, salvageable scrap. That's actually kind of useful, I think. Oh, there's that solar and stuff. Okay, we're gonna go there anyways. Okay, I'll be back in a minute when we're closer. Okay, we're getting there. So this salvageable scrap, that's a new feature they've added to the game. We'll see if we can find any when we're doing this, but uh, I'm more interested in the other material, but... will be worth checking out anyways. So this might be like a crappy planet. I, I really don't know for sure, but... Oh wait, no, this has to be one because that's what we're looking for, this material, so... I just don't know what it looks like. Um, let's just land here and find out. Fugitive detected. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Somebody's worth 100k in space and I, I, I forgot them. Okay, so. Might as well go ahead and scan some stuff. So we're trying to find this. So. Silver, silver. I think if we recall, we saw something about it, but it was like you needed your gauntlets, right? So it's like one of those things that you knock down. Um, a solar vine? Maybe that's what it is. It kind of had that noise. But yeah, so this is a heated planet. Cool. We had one. Oh. We'll just leave our ship behind and go for an adventure. There's also this thing I want to get. We're going to try that as well, so. Uh, 
Might as well do some scanning here, earn some bucks and stuff. Oh, here they are. I also have to scan some creatures. Haven't seen yet any, but... Okay, so how does this work? Oh, you just loot it in a sense. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, let's just scan for any kind of creatures. Any red on the map anywhere? I don't see any, unfortunately. Okay. So let's go over here. Of course, I had to hit the wall. <laughs> it wouldn't be me if I didn't hit something in the way. Okay. Getting there, my friends. Wasn't really a good uh, increase there, but whatever. We got up still. Okay, here it is. So, uh, oops, sorry. Um, it looks like it's sticking in the ground, this one, actually. So you might not even have to... I think sometimes it's underground, sometimes it's not. So I guess that's up to how it is its design. I'm gonna destroy the area anyway so you can get a better look at what it looks like. So I, I found this because you remember when I said I did the mission or whatever I was able to come across one of these when I did that multiplayer mission which we'll do them together eventually like on camera. It was just I was really tired and I was just testing it out. So you have this basically thing and you have to break these open. There's a protective casing and then I guess basically you open the container and you find random items, which I think that's actually really rare. 1,076 years old. So you check it and that's worth 732,000 credits. And yeah, so you get a bunch of really good amount of credits for something that was really simple. And they're all over the place. You can, you can, you know, you can locate them around and you can just go from one container to the next. And yeah, pretty fun. So I'll meet you at the next one. Okay, I found the next one. This one is definitely uh, a little deeper, it looks like. So let's uh, open it up here. There you go. And then we'll just go ahead and do the mining beam again. And there we go. And black in con connector, so nothing worth as much. Hey, but still worth 245k. And so that's not too bad, to be honest. So I'm going to meet you back at the base. I want to go ahead and hand in that uh, mission we just did for the one guy, because he wanted that material. I just kind of want to finish that up, and then uh, that way the next episode we can go and look for the uh, the red thingy mabopper. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Anyways, we'll be back. Oh, apparently this guy just did not want me to finish my mission here. Apparently there's a threat right here, and he's kind of close to the atmosphere of the planet, which is crazy. We're tagging him right now, I guess. I don't know if he's going to hurt us, but he's worth 100k, so that's kind of cool. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not him. Oh, God. There he is. There you go. So we're fighting this guy. I don't know if it's multiples or just one guy, but... Oh, I think I'm being shot somewhere else. So there, it's multiples. This is probably just his friend here. There you go. Huh. Maybe it was just the one guy. Weird. Well, there you go. Okay, we are back. So let's talk to the scientist and get his stuff handed in. So, uh, here you go. Praise the new AI. Use the term artificial, but the innocent entity, 
corrects me. Man, I can't even say some of these words. They tell me that the intelligence is artificial and all bodies mere shell for something greater. Okay. The Corvex body is merely a shell uh, carapace for the soul networked core of my intel many intelligence. Wait, so did I finish the mission? Oh, never mind. That's was for this guy anyway. Screw that guy. Uh, it is good to see you, friend. I uh, trust the Viking technology kept you safe. I have the solenium uh, required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. I'll be interested to see what the effect a second Gek will have on my overseer. I can't imagine they have spent much time conversing with the scientist or the armor. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, to farm, we shall exploit the earth free at least from the sentinels and practice the glory of trade. So there you go. You got uh, an agricultural terminal. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So we can build that. And, of course, I'll have to find a guy and all that stuff later on, which I'll probably just grab that at random when I when I run across one. I won't bother, like, doing an actual video on it. We've gotten these guys. Well, we've done it three times now, so... Once you've scared our farmer, you'll want to trade unhindered to profit for our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, for I shall make it so all I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for trade terminal of our own. The overseer requests a circuit board in order to create the galactic trade terminal blueprint. So except I think I might have bought the, actually no maybe I didn't buy that one. I do not have the zeal of trade seems like Z uh C Z Gek. Nevertheless I will uh convenient to the tap the galactic market right here in the home. So he wants me to build of course the galactic uh trade thing here. So I guess the thing you want to build right away is okay. He wants a damn circuit board. Oh a circuit board. Actually I don't think I've ever made a circuit board, have I? A circuit board uh, aid the scientists to learn how to oh okay so you do that one and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just build this because apparently we can and it shouldn't be hard to build one so terminals and there you go the agricultural terminal I want it to be like the same or do you think he likes oh here we go there you go. I want it like the same kind of like style of these guys. I guess his gets pushed back further. There you go. There you go. And we have that done. So yeah, we'll leave that as is, really. Um, we could talk to the scientist just in case if he has something. Isn't it wonderful, Traveler? Blah, blah, blah. Praise the new AI. Okay, so it's the same thing. I guess we don't have to. I, we probably have to do more for him to be able to get the other uh, circuit or whatever. If I don't already have it. But uh, anyways, that is it. Next episode, we're gonna go and I think start doing um, this one here. Find the Atlas interface. Look for the interface on the galaxy map. Nada and Polo uh, may be able to assist you. So yeah, we'll we'll probably do that next time and then go from there. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.